Hi everyone. Today we will see five more current affairs. Sorry for the long gap. Okay, the next task will be one terrible. Nandri Marapadan Anjanj, Nandral Lad, Andre Marapadan Anj. Find out the meaning for this. Also have a look over the previous Thirukural. Pagal Vildam Gugay Kakai Eagal Vildam Vendarka Vendum Purdu. That's all. Let's go. So first one is for Dugong. World Dugong Day is celebrated on 28th May every year. It is also known as the sea cow and it is the only existing species that is herbivorous mammal. And it lives exclusively in the sea including in India. In India also we are having Dugong. Uh, in Andaman Nicobar Islands uh, we can see uh, Dugong population. And uh, the state animal of Andaman Nicobar Island is Dugong. That is sea cow. Um, it grazes on seagrass. That's why, that is why it is known as the herbivorous mammal. And it is existing, only existing herbivorous mammal because uh, already the Stella's cow has, has become extinct. Okay. And... Uh, as per IUCN Red List, it is listed as vulnerable and it is protected in India under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. That too under Schedule 1. Okay. Next, conservation of Dugongs, our Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has constituted a task force for conservation of the Dugongs. So, as India is a part of UNEP and CMS, so we have signed a Dugong MOU. So, we have been, our India is facilitating facilitating and conserving the dugong almost in the south asian region so what are the threats faced by dugong means seagrass bed has been lost due to the ocean floor trawling because uh, illegal fish is common and uh, destruction or modification of their habitat pollution and next to vessel strikes uh, and uh, for defense purposes unsustainable their meat is famous that is uh, they are consumed under the wrong consumption that uh, um, it cools down the human body temperature. So it is also, they, these are all the blue dot network recently seen in news. India is also has an idea to join the blue dot network. Okay. It is a multi-stakeholder initiative. That is governments, private sectors, private sectors and civil society come together to promote high quality trusted standards for global infrastructure development, which is needed for a Developing a developing nation especially and its BDN was formally announced at the Indo-Pacific Business Forum in Bangkok which is in Thailand capital also. It, is, uh, it will be led by US along with Japan and Australia. India may join in Blue Dot Network. So what is the scope of Blue Dot Network we will see. It will be serving as a globally recognized evaluation and certification system for the infrastructure. So like roads, ports and bridges which will be easy for trade and commerce and uh, also apply applicable to projects applicable to projects in any citizen centry country that is like india citizens like to evaluate such projects because uh, sir, people participation is, ma is increasing in india nowadays the important point to be noticed that it is not like belt and road initiative bdn will not offer any public funds or loans for the project regarding infrastructure and next is, uh, it is a globally recognized seal for approval for major infrastructure projects. Okay, and not exploitative, sustainable only. Heat wave, so heat wave 2020 and the Ministry of Home Affairs, NDMA, that is National Disaster Management Authority, in collaboration with the government of Karnataka, conducted a workshop. So heat wave is a major uh, problem due to the climate change. So what we will see, what is the definition of heat wave? Heat wave is described in two aspects, qualitatively and quantitatively. So, you can use this definition in terms of a GS paper. Okay. So, also try to remember this definition. So, it is a condition that air temperature will be fatal. That is, it can cause death to the human body when exposed. Okay. Even in Kerala, the emergence of heat wave had caused death to few people. And we can see it is nothing but the temperature exceeding the actual temperature during the same are the history of years in certain countries it will be defined in the term of heat index that's all so what are the health impacts of heat waves dehydration will occur heat cramps heat exhaustion and heat stroke loss of water is the major problem in the body so just have a look through the signs and symptoms not much needed just to write more in gs 23 states were affected by heat waves in 2019 which is more than the previous year 2018 Many cities have recorded all-time high temperatures that is exceeding 45 degrees Celsius. So NDMA, that is National Disaster 
is closely working with the vulnerable states to reduce the adverse impact of the heat wave. Certain points to be remembered while recording or reading about the heat wave. It is considered a maximum if the maximum temperature reaches 40 degrees Celsius uh, or at least 30 degrees Celsius or more for hilly regions. In hilly regions, 30 degree, at least 30 or more is heavier for them, okay, higher for them. So, these data are collected from IMD website only. So, usually it occurs during March to June and rare cases in July. So, peak month for the heat wave in India is especially May. The coastal stations with 37 degrees Celsius or more uh, exceeding their maximum temperature means they are also experiencing a heat wave, though they are a So, the heat wave prone states uh, in India are northwestern part, central, east, north, peninsular, India during March to June. Just to have a look over these states because uh, they may confuse you with other states also. That's all. While reading about these states, uh, please have an atlas with you that will give you a clear idea. And see here, um, the northeastern states uh, are exempted and, uh, and Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Union Territory are exempted along with the islands. So next one is HT3326. This kind of question is usually asked by UPSC in prelims examination because uh, they may confuse you with the many options because this is a recording. It is a new variety of wheat. Okay. So, its average yield is more than the normal wheat variety. So, that's why this has been in news. Okay. Pusha Yasha wheat. Why it is so important means it is a disease resistant variety. That is yellow, brown or black rust disease will not affect this variety. And kernel burnt, powdery mildew, uh, loose mud and food rot will not affect this variety. So, that's why this is more important. So, other than that, many quality which is more unique in this wheat variety is high protein content, dry and wet gluten is there and good grain appearance and zinc content is more, that is average zinc content and it has the commercial potential also because uh, highest bread quality score is also having, bread glue volume is also there for its suitability, okay. So, next, also it can be easily commercially cultivated in northwestern plain zone that is Punjab, uh, Haryana, where uh, wheat bowl of India, Delhi, Rajasthan, except Kota and Udaipur, except Kota and Udaipur divisions, they have experimented this variety and western Uttar, uh, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Katwa district of Jammu and Kashmir Union Territory, Una district and uh, Panto Valley of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand in these regions under timely zone conditions, this HT3326 variety has been experimented and yielded more. So, next is Santosh portal. It comes in the Ministry of Labor and Employment. It is nothing but an implementation monitoring cell. Its objective is to promote these points can be used in mains point of view. Okay. So the prelims point of view, uh, what is its feature and then which ministry it is coming it's, is noted to be readed. Okay. So, for public grievances, centralized public grievance letters and monitoring system portal is already in functional. Besides these, Santosh portal is also has been opened for online compliance. That's all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Happy channel. Till then, stay positive, stay healthy.